All right, all right, all right. So we're back once again, trying to get a little information out there and clear it up a little bit about some uh, Bowie knives and machetes. Some of the favorite ones that I like. And um, this happened to be the styles that I like. This is uh, considered to be the V44 Marine Raider boy. That's what it's called. That's the, uh, the emblem, United States Marine Raider, the V44. Okay. It's the box it comes in. It's made by Rough Rider. A product that was just put out by uh, uh, I can't think of the knife company now right now. It's, it'll lose my mind. It'll come to me though. And um, yeah, this is the picture of it. This is uh, a drawing of the actual actual boy knife. Boy blade with the handle configuration. It has several handle configurations. A few, few of me always had that bird beak at the end, but a few different guard configurations. And um, mostly it wasn't really a knife. It was a boy, but it wasn't a knife. It was a machete. So being as though it was a machete, and this is a knife modeled after it. It's got that chopping. It's got that little bolo type look right into it, built right into it, even though it's a machete, even though it's a um a bowie knife. Uh, oh yeah, um This is a machete. Okay. This is more like the uh, actual V forty four. It's a machete, it's a bowie, it's sharp, it's got a guard. It's got the bird beat. You know what I'm saying? Of course, Cole still won't call it a boy because the original one is a boy. But this is a V44. This is a copy of it. Okay? This is about as real as it gets because um, the original was a machete. You know, for cutting, in, cutting through thick brush and also for coming across enemies and having to cut cross or dispatch them if need to, if need be. So yeah, this is the Black Bear Boy Machete, which um very much reminds me of what I've seen a lot of the originals on uh, footages and films and videos that people made, but they had went out and purchased um the authentic older ones, but they were machetes. You know, they got upgraded later to knives, but the originals. As far as you can go back, they were machetes and they were called machetes. So yeah, this one fits that category of the uh, V44 and Marine Raider style knife as well. And I think um, the gentleman Israel from uh, We All Juggle Knives channel, he made a video back some time ago and that's what he said it looks like. He said it looks like the Ontario Marine Raider boy. That's exactly what he said. Come to think of it. So, yeah. Uh, maybe he put me in the mind of realizing that. I'm, I, I, he probably did because that's what it is. <laughs> and I just recently watched that video maybe a day or two ago. So, yep. Even though it's an old video on his channel, you know, his videos are always relevant. So, yeah, this is um a cold steel copy. A cold steel mate. This a lot like the original V44 Marine Raider Boy, and it also has a lot of resemblance, just like uh, we all juggle knives, Israel said, of the uh, Marine Raider SP10, Ontario SP10. So yes, um, this this looks more like the uh, the uh, wow everybody would know what this looks like. What's that knife name? Uh, I can't think of the name of that one right now. I'm having brain burn out right now for some reason. 
But yeah, you're gonna get the cross guard and handle and the material and the pins. It's got a third pin up there. Yeah. That true sharp steel. This is not true sharp steel, but the one with the true stop sharp steel. Okay, the case double X boy, yeah. This is a copy of that. This is more like a copy of the case double X boy. But it's called the V44 Marine Raider Boy. And it's a very well done knife. It's tough. I'll put it through some tests. And um come up to be a good piece of stainless steel. So uh just wanted to get that out there and make a um note of it. This is one of my favorite new machetes that I got. And uh it came extremely sharp. Had a really nice tip on it. The tip was very acute. So it um it did ding a little bit. You can see it. But on this, you can't complain, because I did that. But um it ain't gonna ding any more than that. It's right there where it should be now for a good tip. It's not like a um a knife that got damaged in shipping. This is something that happened and when it was in my possession and and it really ain't damaged at all. I can take this little little burr off. With in, in a second or two, with the workshop just pss, and it come right off, and it didn't then it'd be just a perfect tip on there. So yeah, this is a machete that I would definitely recommend. It came extremely sharp. It's um, in a sense to me, a replica of a uh, actual combat blade used in a uh, World War Two. So World War Two or World War One, whichever one they used that that they originally brought that Raider boy out in. But yeah. Doesn't, doesn't really say on this box at all. 1943, so that would be uh, World War II. So, yeah. Peace. Take care. Uh, yeah, I like this little copy of the Case Double X. Good job they did on it at the Rough Rider with the Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I got two of them. And, uh, this is an excellent rendition of a, uh, the original V44 boy machete because the original one was a machete. And like Israel said, this reminds him and it looks like a copy of the uh, SP-10. So, yep, I agree with him. Hard not to agree with him because he knows so much about blazing. That's what he do. He's a blade enthusiast and a blade connoisseur. So, yeah. Peace. Take care. Have a good day. Adios.